Yes, what we have here is the two set of angles. Now these are uh, two, uh, these are what we call two um, lines and they're intersecting each other. Now there's a very, very important thing that we can look at when two lines intersect each other. It doesn't matter how they intersect each other. Here it kind of looks like they're almost at 90 degrees, but we could intersect each other with some thin angles or some wide angles. But either way we intersect it, something that's very important happens. What we notice is the opposite angles always are going to remain equal to each other. So you guys can see, no matter how I stretch or change my angles, you know, you can just kind of take this with, um, uh, you know, kind of two sticks, and no matter how you change those angles, the opposite angles are always going to be equal to each other. And these are what we call vertical angles. So an important thing is, if I was going to label this, let's just say A, B, C, D, one thing I can always say is A, is always equal to B, I'm oh, sorry, no. A is always equal to C, and D is always equal to B in this example. So when I have this problem up here, obviously you can see that I have vertical angles. So I can write now an equation that is, remember when we have an X, right? And I think, and I think this is an important part of that a lot of students get mixed up is when they're trying to solve these problems, you have to think, well, what are they kind of asking me to do? They're saying solve for x. So when I say solve, that means I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to um, bring in an, an equation sign. They're not saying simplify. You know, We need to find um, how to solve for x, so we need to include an equal sign. So looking at this, I know I can write now 120 equals 2x minus 10 because they're what we call vertical angles. Now from here, I have a two-step equation that I can solve from algebra 2. So I add a 10 on both sides. 130 equals 2x. Divide by 2. x is going to equal, let's see, 65. All right. And then if I wanted to solve, um, let's say I wanted to find the value of this angle. Well, to double check my work, I can do, so 2x minus 10 equals, um, let's just call this, yeah, well, let's not put an equals on, let's just, here's our angle. So if I plug in 65, 2 times 65 is 130, minus 10 equals 120. Therefore, you notice exactly it's going to be 120 as well. So that's how you use vertical angles to solve for x.